We're getting ready to put on the cross arms to our post. You'll notice I've positioned these posts on the floor and I've positioned them with the locks in the upward position on both sides. So when we put the cross arm on and we stand these posts up, the locks are facing the outside just like they're supposed to be. You'll notice I've used a wheel chalk to hold that up to keep it level so we can put on our sliders. Now it'll help you to position your post to kind of get them into space. We're putting together a, a DX 9000 XLT. The outside width of an XLT is 119 inches. So we're going to kind of set this up so that we're 119 inches base plate to base plate. And that'll make it real close when we go to put on our cross arm boxes that we're really close. If this was an HD, we'd want to set that at 113 inches outside width. If you were doing an 11,000 pound WD, you'd want to be at 129 inches outside to outside. Or if you're using the side by side, you'd want to be 207 inches outside to outside. So now we're getting ready to take the cross arms out of the lift. And so what you're going to do is bend your legs because these are heavy. Pull this out. And then we're going to walk around and we're going to use our lift as a prep area. Just like so. We can take the plastics off. Should be a seam in your plastic to be able to tear. Now you've noticed we have the cross arm sitting here and there's a few things that we need to do to prepare putting it onto our post. Number one, we'll take a slider. We're going to prop open. If you'll look right here, you'll see these locks are in the way of us putting this onto the post. So we have to move them and get them open. So what we're going to do is take a slider and position it like that. That holds that lock open. And then we're also going to show you how we take care of that secondary lock. So that's the first thing we'll do. Second thing, we need to grease our pulleys. A nice thing about our Advantage lifts, each axle has a grease circ. And we're going to be able to grease this so that you have every bushing that rotates on this lift is greasable. How often do you think they should re-grease it, Tony? That's a good question, Jay. It depends on the use. If you're using this daily, I'd do that, I'd check it six months. If it's um, hobby use, maybe once a year, you'll be able to feel if it's taking grease or not. So what we're doing here, we're going to take one of the little clip screws and you have a threaded hole here on the side. And we're going to start this, just like this. And this is our secondary lock, right? So again, I can't insert that over the post until this lock is opened. So now Jay's going to take a zip tie and go around the screw. And now that is open, you'll see the lock is clear. We have a clear space to be able to insert our post. We'll leave this zip tied until we get to the very last part of adjusting the cables. And then we'll put that on. Now we'll do the other side as well. So what we're doing now is we're going to bring over our cross arms and match them up to our post. So as we did earlier, we aligned up our post so it makes it really easy to slide this on. Now you want to be careful because we are at this time metal to metal. We don't want to be sliding and scratching up our surfaces. Um, and the other thing you want to make sure, see our lock is on the top, our lock holes on our post are on the top. So everything is going to be married together. We don't want them upside down. And now what we're going to do, just to get us so we can slide this without uh, scratching, is we're going to put in a slider. So we've got one on the bottom of the angle, and then we want to put one up here at the top as well, so that you'll notice that we're diagonally from each other. So now we'll be able to slide this down without scratching up our post. 
what we want to do now, together we're going to push this down till we get to the fifth lock from the bottom. Okay, now we'll have to move our See how easy that slides due to waxing up the post and putting our sliders in. So now what you're going to see is we're going to be at the fifth lock. So one, two, three, four, five. We want five showing. So we're going to be resting on the sixth lock. So now we're take out the slider. The lock will insert. We have one, two, three, four, five holes showing. Now it's setting on the lock. Now we're able to pick this up. You'll notice we have five lock holes showing, so it's setting on the sixth lock from the bottom. And you know there is no right or left cross arm. So either cross arm will work, but you just want to have, if you like to have your Advantage Lift label, your ALI certificate, and your serial number facing toward the garage door, then that's great. Put it on this direction. If you want it facing a wall in the front of the garage, then you can do it that way. It's your choice on that. Okay, now we're gonna stand this up. We'll use our legs and pick this up. And now we have our H formed. As you'll notice, we have a cross arm, our two legs, and an H formed to start off our lift. So I'm Talk about, talk about that, Jay. Okay. The, we have a cutout slider because that allows your lock to engage. So when it's inside the collar, it's actually riding like this, so it allows your locks to be able to engage. So as you slide it down in, you're gonna want to pick up and get the lock past it. If you're using a Genie, Here's another way of doing this, and we're going to put the cross arm on, we're going to raise it up, and then lower it down over the post. There, now here's the other option. You know, early in the video I told you about two different options, using the cherry picker or using what's called the material handling lift. It's got a little forklift on it works very nice on putting these together. Uh, the preferred rental, if you're gonna rent something, rent one of these, it makes it a whole lot easier to operate this. So now we have the cross arm on here and we want to position this um, to where we can get this up here like this. Hold that up just like that, Jay. So we got the cross arm on here so that this doesn't wanna roll on you. You wanna use a clamp, hook it in here and then tighten it up. And what that's gonna do is just keep that from ever spinning on you when this gets up, it makes it secure. Now we're gonna insert our locks, put in our slider, that holds the lock open. Now we're gonna put in our screw at the end here so that we can tie back our secondary lock. And again, the secondary lock, I have to tie that open so that it can go right down. and now our locks are tied open, and we will not remove this until we're ready to adjust the cables at the end. All right, now we position your post here, Jay. The nice thing about using this Genie is it keeps that cross arm level you don't have to worry about scratching your post as you come down the post. Okay, let's get it. We're setting on the fifth lock at this point. Now we can put in our sliders. Now you're ready to put in your sliders. And again, we have the one that has the lock cut out for your lock holes. You put that in here first. 
set it in. Then the one that you have this pulley, I put in next because it's harder to get to, so I put it in. And then I come around to the back and I can push these right into slot and we're, we're on there. Then you want to lower your genie down until it sets on the lock. And now we're set.